Waterbury Bureau Chief Dennis Valera explains the latest efforts by the city and breaks down where the spread is happening. Waterbury's municipal stadium got crowded early today, but not for a game. Today, the city put up a day-only COVID testing site to help ease the burden at the Brass Mill Center Mall. They're working to find a second permanent testing site. With the number of people who are out there with cold symptoms and they, you know, little aches and pains here and there, they may have Omicron. The city's health director, Ashley McGuckin, says Omicron variant cases are rising, mostly stemming from community spread, and children are still the majority of new cases. It's all fueling the triple-digit case number increases we've been seeing. Weekly case totals have been increasing at higher rates since the end of November. While last week did see a decrease, the city still recorded more than 900 new cases. The silver lining, McGuckin says hospitalizations are not rising nearly as much. The hospitalizations are going up more slowly and that's reflective of what we're seeing in other countries. I think the same thing has been experienced by South Africa, by the UK. Another bit of good news for the brass city. Foot traffic continues to rise at the city's vaccination clinic, but McGuckin maintains vaccinated or not, you should keep your New Year's plans at home. This is not the year to be whooping it up at, you know, uh, the local bar. Um, it's not the year to be going down to New Year's Eve in Times Square. This is not the year for that. This is the year to hunker down, hang out with your household and try to keep from getting sick. The city is slated to get more than 13,000 rapid cell test kits from the state whenever they arrive. Now the testing site at the Brass Mill Center Mall and the vaccination clinic here next to the Walmart. They will be closed New Year's Eve and New Year's Day reopening on Sunday. Here in Waterbury, Dennis Valera, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.